All right, everyone. Today, I wanted to do a spotlight on another piece of special gear or special equipment, and this is definitely one that you're going to want to get as soon as you can, because I talked about the charm the other day, which was the first piece of special equipment that I've talked about. The charm is primarily focused on trade skills. So if you do any kind of trade skilling, you're definitely going to want to get the charm as soon as you can. But the compass is going to be more general because it's going to end up giving you a boost to your sailing speed, but it's also going to end up giving you a boost to your movement speed on all islands. And you can see here, movement speed on islands plus 4%, ship sailing speed knots plus 1%, and it's also going to lower your ship's repair cost by 5%. And very much like the charm, this is actually the first version of it right here. This is the first one that you get. And as you actually continuously work on your island tokens or your island souls, you're going to be able to get a certain material that's going to allow you to upgrade your compass to a better version that's going to end up having better stats. So it goes on your equipment screen just like the charm does. So if we go to the profile, You'll see here special equipment. We've got the charm there in the center, but this very first slot here is for the compass. So once you end up getting it, all you do is equip it right there and you're going to end up getting the benefits from it. But let's go over how you actually end up getting this because if you go to the collectibles and you go to Island Souls here, you'll actually see that the compass is the third reward that you get. And you're going to need a total of 15 island tokens in order to end up getting this. Now, I also highly recommend it, and this is something that I'm actually going to be working on basically right after recording this video, is try to get to the 20 island soul reward as well, because you get a greater skill point potion, which gives you six skill points. And that's going to be super, super important for your character build as you get to end game content tier three stuff you're definitely going to want to have that. But you get the compass at 15 Island Souls. And of course, if you're wondering where you actually end up uh, acquiring it, it's at the same spot that you end up turning in your Island tokens. So I'm actually parked right there, right outside of my stronghold. So let's end up just heading there so you guys can see. Because also at the same location that you end up picking up the compass is going to be the NPC that you actually end up crafting your better compasses as you actually continuously get more Island Souls and you unlock the materials to upgrade it, you'll be able to upgrade them at this turtle right here. So you can see there's the purple one, the legendary one, and then the relic one right there. And all you need is the older version of the compass and these materials, very similar to the charm. You end up getting these in the collectibles and you'll actually see here, they're all in the same row for the compass. So in this third row of rewards here, you get the compass at uh, 15 island souls. Then you get the first material at 40, which allows you to upgrade it. The next one at 65, and then the last one there at 90. And all you have to do in order to actually end up getting your compass is go turn in your island souls at the statue on the lonely islands, end up going to this NPC, and simply end up claiming your reward, and you are good to go. So um, now you need 15 island souls, just like you needed 12 of the... Uh, uh, world tree leaves in order to get the charm from the other day 15 island tokens really shouldn't be all too bad But uh, I wanted to just share with you guys here towards the end of this shorter video If you guys are struggling to know where to get 15 island tokens I have a really great website I'm sure a lot of you guys already know of this but I wanted to do a quick spotlight and highlight max roll because there is a fantastic guide here that actually tells you where to get 20 super quick super fast island tokens and you can see here fastest 20 island tokens all you got to do is take a look at this and you can see it'll tell you each of the island souls as well as how long it actually takes in order to get them and how you get those island tokens there's also some additional options here at the bottom as well if you're just looking to get some other quick ones so if you follow this guide and you just kind of work through your islands you should be able to get the 15 uh, island souls no problem i'll leave a link to this in the description if this is what i use to get my quick 15 island souls for the compass so um, if you guys are just a couple away and you're still wondering what quick islands to do and you don't want to get stuck doing a really hard or long island that takes forever to get the island token i'll leave this link in the description as well and you guys can check it out so big shout out to max roll for all the awesome guides and information that there is related to lost ark so not just the island tokens there's a lot of other really useful stuff there as well Anyway, that's going to be about it. No reason for this to be a long video. I just wanted to do a quick spotlight on this very important item that you definitely want to get out of the way sooner rather than later for that sailing speed boost and that movement speed boost on all, all islands. So that's going to be about it for this one. If you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a quick like. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this in the future. And feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salt, where I'll be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. And until next time.